Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. So this episode we're going to be learning about packages. And so we're moving on from classes and inheritance. And we're going to be using that, of course. But uh, yeah, we're moving on to the topic of packages now. And uh, yeah, so what are packages? Well, we've, we've actually been using them the whole time. Well, not anymore, but basically. So packages are basically folders for groups of classes. So they allow for classes to have the same name for some classes and other packages not to be able to access certain classes and other class packages with encapsulation which we'll be working with so let's see what I mean so we're gonna create another class here and we're gonna call it main so look before I do that look we already have a class named main so let's create another one named main we can't do that it just doesn't work you can't have two classes with the same name so with packages if we separate them to packages are basically folders then it won't matter. It won't matter. So, um, yeah. So why have packages for that exact reason? You don't. Um, so we don't have to think of a, uni a unique name every time we think of a class. And I'm very uncreative, as you can tell. I have like Bob and Human and all those classes. And uh, yeah. So um, having packages allows for a seamless integration of your code with other developers. Also, for example. In the future, another developer might use your code in their code, and somehow you mo you might both have the same pa uh, classes class names. So um, that would be a problem because you can't obviously have the same class name. So when you have packages, then it will conflict. So yeah, so making packages is pretty really simple. Um, so we don't actually we're using the default package, which basically means no package. So let's make a package here. So new package right here, new package. So what do we want to call this? Well, let's call this um, hmm, potato. So actually, we're going to rename this. We're going to call it, um, it needs to be something more broad, I would say, like everything that goes inside of something. So like a world, basically, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, so everything that relates to the world will go inside world. And then let's do another. I'm gonna make another package, and uh, so this will be different from the other package, of course. So we're gonna call this one. Uh, uh, what's the opposite of world? I guess underworld, something simple like that. It doesn't matter what the names are. It's just that they're basically just folders. Okay, that's basically what they are. So and they pretty much are. So I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, so we have these two packages here and as you can tell they're empty, but we still have the main inside our default package which is in the default folder. The just yeah, no package. So um yeah, so let's create create a new package inside of world and we'll call this one I mean a new a new class inside of world and we'll call this one um we'll call it something that's in a world, right? We'll call it sky. So we'll have a sky in our world. Okay, so that's good. We have a little sky here. And then inside of the sky, we can have whatever code we want to have in our class, right? Perfectly fine. But if you look up top, we have this code. IntelliJ put this here for us, and some editors might not do that for you, but it did for us. We have package world. So this just tells the class what package it's in. You need to have that. Whenever you have a class inside of a package, you have to give it the... Um, I don't know what to call it, but you just have to have that. So let's say we have another package inside of world. Let's create one, another package inside of world and call it um, atmosphere. Okay. And so let's move sky into atmosphere. Let's see what happens. Click refactor and this will automatically change your package. Watch, watch, watch. Now it says pet world dot atmosphere. And notice that the A is capital. It's case sensitive because I think it's case sensitive because um, the package we made was um, capital atmosphere cap capital a atmosphere but look also what it did was put it all into one world dot atmosphere it's common to do that um so what we can do to, if you don't want that you can do uh flat impact. nope that's not it we can do oh it's hide it's it's either compact empty middle packages or hide middle packages hide empty middle packages so whatever so that'll open it up for you and so now we can see it's a hierarchy right so class, I mean, sky is inside of atmosphere and atmosphere is inside of world. But anyway, so inside of sky, it's located inside the atmosphere package. We have to specify the location of it. So Java knows. So there we go. That's where it's located. So it does it for you. But if you want to know how it works, there you go. It's just a simple location, hierarchy, whatever, whatever. 
so yeah so we have this here so let's create another uh, class inside of underworld and we'll call this hell so we have hell inside of underworld that makes sense right <laughs> that's kind of dark um, I don't know whatever so we have two classes perfectly fine right um, and obviously it made it here which is good and that's so that's how you add a package right so let's go into our file editor here so let's um, let's right click here the top one and we'll do show and explore so this will open up your file explorer of course so these are all my projects so let's go into here this is the project so we're inside the project now so let's go into source that's where that is right here right so now we have everything this is our class here main.java this is our main class and then we have two packages as you can see packages are literally folders so if we open this up we have atmosphere of course and we have sky.java which is our class so I mean it's really really simple it's just folders so I mean it's just uh, a way to group classes so inside of atmosphere let's have another class we'll call it uh, we have sky let's have ocean okay so we have ocean and we have sky perfectly fine and so so there we go and um, obviously ocean will have its package location thingy also so that works all fine so that's how you use classes right and um, so now we can, let's test this out. Let's have another class inside of Underworld. Let's call it the same name as this one. We'll call it Sky also. So so obviously, look, they don't actually conflict at all. So we can have different class, same class names and different packages. But if we have the same class name and same package, we can't do that. That's no, no, bad boy. So anyway, so now we can do some encapsulation, member access, as you would otherwise call it. So there's four ways. Um, to encapsulate with this, but we have a new keyword, the fourth one. It's called protected. But first, let's go back to the basic one. It's called public, right? So public, that means it can be accessed by any class and within any package. So already these are called public, so we can access it inside main, we can access it inside uh, other sky, ocean, you know, wherever you want to access it, okay? So let's have, let's test that out, right? Actually, we're going to get rid of this one. Let's call it, let's just delete that one. We're going to use ocean here. Okay, and so inside of Ocean, we'll have let's have a a variable. We'll call it integer number of whales. Number of whales equals five. There's only five whales. Rip. Uh, climate change. Okay, so inside of um, here, um, it's public, so that means we can access it within any class in any package, right? So obviously these are in different packages. This is in a default package. These are in an atmosphere package. So it should work because it's public. Okay. So let's go ahead and create our um, ocean object. So ocean, ocean one equals new. And we have an error. I'll show you what that is in a second. So we have an error. Okay. So let's figure out why we have error. Let's do alt enter. That will import it for us. That's what we need to do. Alt enter import class. So what that did, you have to import any uh, class that you use that's in another package. Let's say that we have another uh, class inside of the default package. We won't have to import that one if we create an object. But it's only if it's in a different package than the one that you're currently referencing. So yeah, we have to import it every time. It's pretty simple, right? So we have the class name and then the two packages, just like that. Pretty simple. So now, um, we have our new ocean object, so we can do ocean one dot. Let's find out what did we make again? It was called number of whales, I think. Wait, why can't we access it? Ocean one. Num oh right, <laughs> that's why we can't access it. We never specified it as public, so public number of whales. So already you can see that it has to be public. So public number of whales. There we go. Now we can access it. So let's go ahead and print that out. So ocean one dot number of whales. Great. Print that out. There we go. So I mean we can make a new object. Um, well, let's figure out why we had it public. We didn't have a public here, but we had a public class, um, and uh, that's why we could make a new object, um, but we couldn't access the variable. So as long as the class is public, we can access the class and make a new object of it, but we can't access anything that's not public inside of it, basically. So that's just a, something you should know. So anyway, we'll make this public again. Great, so it prints out five, that's what we wanted. So anyway, so the next thing is, um, 
Actually, no, we're going to go into hell, the other package, and we're going to test this out, test the importing of it. So um, let's let's do it ourselves this time. Let's do, we're going to import this class. So import ocean, we're going to import ocean, okay? So how do we import ocean? Well, um, well, well what we do, we're in, we're in the underworld class, but we start out from source, okay? So we're going to do it like this. So world dot atmosphere dot ocean. And look, we have options. You can either do asterisks, which imports every single class inside of a package. That's very useful if you're lazy like me. Or you can do specific classes. We're just going to do every single one, asterisks or whatever, however you say it. And then we have the sem uh, semicolon, of course. Now, this is grayed out because we didn't call it yet. We didn't create a new object. So let's do ocean, ocean one, or ocean two equals new ocean. So there we go. Uh, we have a problem here. What is it? Oh, right. I'm sorry. So what we did wrong, we have to have the import statement after the package statement. So yeah, just don't forget that. It's pretty simple. So um, yeah, so what we did is we uh, provided the import. So the location of the uh, thing that we want to add, but we're going to change this to asterisk. So remember asterisk just imports everything inside of that package, atmosphere package. So yeah, that's how we do that. Pretty simple, right? So anyway, uh, so that's how you import stuff more. But anyway, let's go back to encapsulation, okay? So now we have the um, the private um, access modifier, right? So let's say, let's just leave the classes public, okay? So we can access the class, but let's change this uh, variable to private. What that does is when it's private, that means it can only be accessed only by its class, of course. So that means that um, we can access number of whales only within the ocean class. So, so yeah, so um, void, let's have a method here if we want to do it like that. Do stuff. And then, yeah, so number of whales can be accessed, right, inside of its own uh, thingy. So, um, yeah, so that's how we do that, of course. We've already done private before with, um, you know, inheritance, so we, we have our some practice with that. But anyway. So that's pretty simple. But let's say, again, we have no access modifier. That's called the default access modifier. So that means it can be accessed by any class inside of its own package. It cannot be accessed outside of its package. So it's basically the same thing as public, but public means that it can be accessed by any package, as long as you import it, of course. But with no access modifier, it can be accessed by only its own package, by any class. So let's go into, so we're in ocean right now. Let's go, let's go into sky here and we can create a new ocean object. Ocean, ocean three equals new ocean, like that. And of course, like I said, if it's in its own class, I mean, if it's in another class within the same package, you don't have to import it, of course. So that's pretty simple, right? So likewise, um, we can do south, oops, system. Oh, right, we have to do this in a method. I'm so stupid so void um do thing <laughs> i'm so uncreative so inside of that we can have sell ocean three dot number of whales like just like that okay so let's do this whole thing but inside main okay so main we have the new we have the object uh, ocean one which is fine because our class is public so we can make objects like i said but we get an error here because this is private and Oh no, it's not private. I mean, it's default, so that means it can only be accessed within its own package. So it just doesn't work. So that's what default modifier does. But now we have the last one. This is called protected. So if we have protected as our keyword, so let's change this to protected. Protected. So now we have a protected modifier here. Um, that means that it can be only accessed by any class in your package, but only to subclasses of your class and other packages. So if that's a little confusing, let me show you. So it can be accessed by any class in your package, which is fine. So in ocean, I mean, no, 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 let's close this one. In, uh, in sky, we don't get an error, right? We can still do it. That means, I mean, that's just because it can be accessed by any class in your package, but it cannot be accessed by other packages, classes and other packages, unless it's a subclass. So let's go into hell and we'll create a new object. So uh, ocean two. I don't think we made that one over again. Oh, wait, no. What am I doing? Ocean, ocean two equals new ocean. There we go. So we then we could have a method here void uh, 
something. Uh, ocean south, ocean two dot. Uh, what do we want to output? What's it called? Number of whales, right? We can't even access that. That's because it's protected, and that means that um, if we want to access um, what's in that class, then we have to have it as a subclass. Extends ocean. So now, since it's a subclass of the package and the other of the class in the other package, then we can access ocean two dot number. Where is it? Oh, right. I see what it is. I was doing wrong. So um, you don't actually need to make a new object inside of here. Um, since it's a subclass, we can access the variable directly. Okay. So there we go. We can access the variable directly. Um, or you know, because it's protected. Let me say this again. If it's protected, that means that it can be accessed by any class in the current package, or it can be accessed by the subclasses of your class in other packages, as long as it's a subclass. So the ocean is our superclass, and then our subclass is hell. And it has to be a subclass because it's in a different package, right? So there we go. We can do that perfectly fine now. So a little more on importing. Um, we're going to be doing some importing in the future when we get into the Java library stuff. Um, so you'll be seeing some stuff like import Java dot oops dot lang dot like that stuff like that you know so uh, don't really worry about it but yeah um, so once you import a package you can access only the things that are specified as public that and that's obvious because if you remember public means that it can be accessed by any class and with any package so if it's private that means it can only be accessed by its own class yeah it's just encapsulation it's not very complicated but yeah so this was a very uh, wordy tutorial, but I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, leave a like. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll help you. If you like the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you need to see more. Join the description and <laughs> join the Discord in the description. I'm tired. And peace.